I am convinced at heart that anybody can be a puzzle person. It is such a great way to scratch certain itches in your brain that you didn't know that you could scratch. It's how many words can you find using the seven letters in each day's hive. But the catch is letters can be used more than once and every word you find must include the center letter. We actually ran a spelling bee on Valentine's Day and one of the pangrams was Valentine. Funny enough, there's also a second pangram, right? There's ventilate. Who knew that you could make uh, both those words with the same seven letters? Why not? That's another 16 points your way. Part of the editing comes with pruning the word list, I should say, which is I am asking myself what feels fair for a widespread audience, whether you are a younger or older solver, a beginner solver or an expert, a word game maven, I want you to be able to strive for whatever spelling bee tier works for you. In doing my research, I have dictionaries at my disposal. I do not edit this word list as a gut check. I'm simply making calls based on, you know, what the dictionaries are showing me. I like using Google's news tab a lot. My goal is to see word games and other puzzle games take a direction where they can really appeal to and employ so many different voices, so many different backgrounds, so that we can continue to shape games for, truthfully, everybody out there. I'm still like a kid in a candy store every time I have a puzzle published. And the crosswords are how I got my start. I joke that I have an awful work-life balance, because I still make crosswords in my spare time. I can't help myself. Crosswords are my first love. They're how I got into this. Anybody can submit a puzzle to the times. So I have been avidly, <laughs> amateurly, and then semi-professionally been constructing puzzles since high school. I had my first puzzle published in the New York Times when I was 17 years old. I could not have expected Spelling Bee, as passionate as I am about this game, to have been such a smashing success, a real craze in you know, 2020, 2021, and beyond. I think it's the type of game that you want to discuss further, whether you are an avid player who picks apart the word list on a given day, which is completely fine, or whether you're just like, it, it, it's, it is a puzzle that you can all come together and solve. For starters, no vulgar slang or outright slurs. Um, those are instant no-goes. Also, and this seems to trip people up from time to time, no capitalized proper name. Of course, there are exceptions to this that might be confusing. Did you know that Manhattan, when referring to the drink, is actually stylized lowercase per Merriam-Webster? something that's an absolute flex to a niche group but means nothing to the majority. <clears throat> the girls that get it, get it. Not too many Queen Bee solvers out there on a given day. A very, very, very small subset. So give yourself a pat on the back if you've ever managed to achieve Queen Bee finding every last word out there on a given day. There's something so satisfying about just chipping away at moving up toward success. Being able to have a modal that says Pangram or awesome, this many more points, congratulations, keep going. And I think there's just something so comforting about that. <laughs>